Welcome to another episode of Tales of the Beautiful Game. Um, today we are previewing the Premier League, the English Premier League. Um, with me today is Vosmuz Matwasa. Sir, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. All right. Um, before further ado, uh, let me remind you to subscribe. Please subscribe to our channel and also follow us on Facebook, Tales of the Beautiful Game. Also follow us on Twitter, um, at Daily Footy Tales. That's our handle. And on YouTube as well, Tales of the Beautiful Game. Right. The weekend, the long weekend of North Premier League or League football uh, has come and it has gone. Uh, what do you think? Who do you think was the major beneficiary of this long break and teams going to the international, um, inter players going to the international games? Uh, I think the major beneficiary was the players who did play and scored. Oh, yeah. not those that remained behind and were yeah. freshened up. Yeah, because uh, I think it, because they are going to a major tournament mm. with the World Cups around the corner. So if you played well, you scored, or you defended well, you, you, you've got a better chance of making the Okay, the okay. But I've heard complaints, people not liking the Nations Cup, so I don't know. Do you think it's, it's one of those things that just adds to a fixture schedule and then causes us to have a backlog in the end? Uh, I think... It, it's those kinds of people who really, really don't uh, understand the purpose of, or of that tournament. Okay. It, it, because it, in that tournament, you you're not going to uh, to see the nine years, mm. the ten years. Mm. Lewandowski scored five goals. Ronaldo scored six goals. I mm. think mm. that's the reason why they don't like the, the because it's no comp it's not that competitive. He, he, it's very competitive, but he, you see in football. There are, lot, there are a lot of supporters, mm. so if, if, if a certain section of supporters, mm. their, their player does not do well, oh. they are not happy. All right, so then yes. they criticize the tournament. Exactly. All right, um, now let's go to business, um, the predictions. Arsenal is playing space, that's the first game. Yes. Um, I think it's tomorrow. Arsenal hasn't lost an EPL game to space since 2010. Yes. Space are unbeaten this season, they've played three away games. And they, they've won one and they've drawn two. Yes. Gabriel Jesus has never been on the losing side in the last 60, 61 games. Yes, and, 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 and Harry Kane has scored 13 goals in this feature. He's scored more than anyone else. So, what do you think? This looks like a clash of titans. It's a derby. And the stats look good. Yeah, based on what you've just read, I think, first of all, it's a bit yes. Both teams will score. If first of all, yes. Yeah, okay. Before we quiet, but I think overall Arsenal is going to win. I think so. Because in, in recent years, the home team the home team has been winning. Okay, so in this fixture, generally the home team wins. Yes, yes. All right, Um. so you see Ken scoring, heading to beating Thierry Henry. Yeah, so it, so those who, who would like to bet can can just go and say can uh, can bring something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or Son because Son went crazy in the last fixture. Yeah. All right, two one it is. You say it right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Two one to Arsenal. All right. Um, Bournemouth and Brentford. The bees are traveling to Bournemouth, having failed to keep a clean sheet in their last nineteen away playoff matches, and Brentford has scored fifteen and considered twelve in seven games. One more, they scored six and considered a hooping 19. I think that's because of that 9 0 to Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And based on that, this is another BTS. Another both teams to score? Yeah. You think Bonmore will score? Yeah, they will. Okay. You, you remember, if Brentford concedes and scores. Yeah. Also, Brentford just, just like sharing goals. Yeah. <laughs> so, in, in that, but uh, I think Brentford is going, is going to win. They, they are more. They are more of a team. They are more solid. What what what's your your goals ratio like? It's two one. Two one. Yeah. Oh, okay. In not three two or something like that. It's something like that. But it, it, there will be it, roughly one goal match. Oh, okay. So it will be a close contest. Yeah. All right. Crystal Palace is hosting Chelsea. Mm -hmm. uh, Palace lost their last ten games against Chelsea, both home and away, and Chelsea have lost their last three games against whoever they played in the last three games. What do you see here? Do you think uh, Grand Potter is going to do some something and change that trend, or Palace is going to surprise? Uh, I think the, the international break gave him much time to to, to to try and sort out his squad. Okay. Um, based on that, I think he's going to. 
So what's the what's the ratio like? Uh, chase one year. You don't see BTS here? Yeah? Mm, not really. Porter is usually a, 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 a solid coach. So okay. he, his team that, that does not really great in goals. Yes. Okay, no problem. The next fixture, Fulham is facing Newcastle. Fulham is inconsistent. They win at home and they lose away and they are welcoming a consistent Newcastle. But Newcastle has drawn their last five of six games. They are consistently drawing. Eh? Um, but Newcastle are winning whenever they go to Fulham. In the last two fixtures, they beaten Fulham and they've won them. So what do you see here? Uh, I think it's going to be a tight contest here. Silva is doing something good there at Fulham. Mm -hmm. And uh, as the stats shows, mm -hmm. Newcastle are, uh, are not an easy opponent. Yeah, they are not. So uh, I see a one-way draw. One or draw. Yeah. So you're seeing Fulham doing what City did, drawing with Newcastle. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't so, but Fulham plays some interesting stuff. So I'm, I'm curious to see whether their interesting stuff won't cause them to lose. Because sometimes teams that play that attacking football tend yeah. to to lose on 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 edges, on like on tight margins. They don't tend to win ugly. So if they're going to win, they're going to have to deserve it. But I I think they will lose. But when are you thinking 1-1? One, one, so I, it's sharp. There is this interesting one. Brighton just lost their coach. They are going yes. to Enfield. Yeah. The Reds are unbeaten in their last 26 EPL matches at Enfield. Yes. And they are welcoming Brighton who lost twice in their last, who only lost twice in their last 15 matches. Yes. Goals have been, have been scored in both halves in all of the Liverpool in all four of Liverpool home home games this season. So in other yes. words, Liverpool sco scores or concedes in either half. So yes. it, all the halves have got action. Yes. Liverpool have failed to beat Brighton in their last two home matches. They have lost one and they have drawn one, the other. So do you think Porter's absence here and the new coach, what, what do you think here? Uh, much will depend on, uh, on how the squad will adjust to the new coach, or, or how the new coach will adjust to, to the squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I think what what just read is going to happen. Uh, I I see goals in, in half, in all halves. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever will be scoring, but, but, but yeah, I, I they, think the game will be having goals. Yes, yes, yes. I think Liverpool is winning. I think so. Yeah, two one. But Liverpool have been up down. Yeah, it it does happen to 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 big teams, it, it, to to all teams. Yeah. In fact, in yeah. fact, yeah. But I think the break gave them some time to to fix things. Yeah. Maybe you can say a bit of other male fixing that maybe. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Southampton is playing Everton. Everton have got one hour one away league win in twelve months, <laughs> and they travel to Saints, who did beat them on their last two visits. Everton has not scored more than one goal in all their eight matches this season. So the stats are looking for me for Everton. Yeah, I think Lampard does not have the, the, the material that he needs to, to, to push for a top 10 finish. Okay, you think it's a, it's a player's issues that this bright young boy got him? Yeah, the Gordon is there, but he, they lost Richardson to. Yeah, to space, space yeah. and Calvin Lewin is, is injured, he's injured yeah. so he, his triforce is not that sharp. There's no firepower, yeah. But he has made it will be played because it will be seems decent. Yeah, he's better. And in this guy, they got from this that great, oh, great, yeah, great. Yeah, great. He's, good he's, he's been trying to do it, but based on that, I'll go for it for one man. You think Southampton won't beat them? Yes, they've always been beating them. <laughs> the, it, 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 the Southampton side of, 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 of these days is, is right. It's not Southampton of us in Ugly, we know. Because on, on, on his last game, he was complaining about the energy levels. Oh, he said his sorry. team does not get. Maybe they, they did use the break to fix it. Yeah, but but that depends on how many players were called. Yes, but I still stick to my one one. One one. So you think the, the press that SM Battle needs, it's. it's Going to be compromised somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, one one it is. I think Southampton will win this one two one. But anyway, I'm not an analyst. <laughs> I'm a host. <laughs> West Ham is hosting Wolves. Ah, West Ham, West Ham, West Ham. Hey, Wolves are bad travelers though. Scoring 
once in three away games and losing their last two away games at the London Stadium. Uh, scoring has been hard to both teams, three apiece in seven games and conceding nine and seven respectively. But West Ham conceded nine this season so far in eight games. That's unlike them. Seven for Wolves as well. That's also unlike them. What's happening with this team? Um, it's, a, it's a matter of uh, West Ham relies mostly on, on physicality. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, and Wolves is a, is, is a defensive team. It's a solid unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 th I think Wolves have scored three goals so far. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> three goals in eight games. <laughs> and those three goals have scored by, by Portugal players, all of them. Portians. Yeah. So, um, I think West Ham is going to. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I think David Moyes is going to. Ten in some yeah, points. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Moyes. Because he's, he's getting under pressure now. This season is feeling like the Moyes of United that I know. He's, he's getting under pressure right now. Yeah, things are bad, and he's bad players, that guy. I don't even understand why it's what's happening with them. And he bought well, so. So, free scoring City is hosting United on Sunday. Mm. That's the big one. I think that's the yeah. biggest one of the, of the weekend. Yeah. Um, let's, let's hear what about this one. Uh, City scores an average of four goals <laughs> in their last nine, nine. Premier, League, Premier League matches. City win over United earlier this year ended a series of cost of cost of us where the, the hosts are losing games right so none of the last um, three h2 head to heads were going less after 10 minutes in other words mm -hmm. this fixture is just that's like a fire like an yeah. awesome fire yeah, yeah. yeah so now tell me <laughs> this one i want to hear i'm curious yeah it's a tight game tight yeah it's tight Holland. Uh, it's tight this is martinez uh, it's tight uh, uh i think <laughs> I don't know whether it will be Alan because Martinez or Alan because of Varane. But Varane is a bit old, he's a bit slow. And, and Martinez is younger and shorter. Martinez is younger, but he's short. And Alan is eh. <laughs> so, eh, so it's going to be a tight contest. I, I, I see United sitting back here. I see them trying to implement their vertical breaks. Yeah, they, are, they really, really have to. Because I don't see anything else. But if you sit too deep against City with that tall Haaland, they will start bringing those high balls. Yeah, is it, it, I, I think they, they stand a, a better chance of defending them on on high balls than on the ground. On, on the ground, because on high balls they've got Varane, they've got Scott Kelly, and Dalot is a little bit taller as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, so what's 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 the goal ratio here? Ah. Uh, I think City is going to win by two goals or so, so I will give them a three one. Who score for United? Ronaldo he is looking every year of his 38 years. Uh, Sancho, Anthony. Sancho is no pace. He, he, Anthony, he it was those. too much. I don't see a goal for United yet. Okay. Unless if it's a corner kick. Because <laughs> <laughs> I really don't see it. I don't see, I, I don't see that happening. Anyway, okay. three one, you say? I think it will be two zero. Okay. Anyway, Leeds versus Aston Villa. Leeds have kept a clean sheet in their last 15 home games, 10 of them ending with... They've kept one clean sheet. Hey, I don't even know what I'm talking about. They've yeah. kept one clean sheet. Yeah. And, and in, in, their, in their last 10 games, both teams have scored. So in other words, Leeds have scored and the opponents have scored. Yes. On their last win, the, their first in 10 matches, Villa kept the, their first clean sheet in 12 matches. So Villa doesn't keep clean sheet either. Villa, Villa has lost four, lost their four games on the road, but but they've only lost once in their last ten top flights to Ireland. So in other words, they've been losing home games, but they don't lose at Ireland Road. Um, Leeds have lost once in Rodrigo's last fifteen goal scoring matches. So if Rodrigo scores, Leeds don't lose. Okay. Let's let's hear. Ah, it is. First of all, of all yes. of, of <laughs> team to score. score. Okay. You see score. Villa scoring. Yeah, be, 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 because this it does not keep clean sheet. They keep one clean sheet in the other two minimum games. But isn't it interesting? Because I thought this match guy was a big, a big impressed type of coach who likes clean sheets and those short transitions in opponents half. Why are they conceding? Yeah, it's a it's a it's a bit harder to understand, but I would expect I would have expected Biesla to have this kind of statistics because he want he liked keeping the ball and you know 
and then teams would hit him on the back. But this one, I, I don't understand. Uh, maybe these players are not, are not uh, accustomed to uh, are not at the level that he wants to be. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Anyway, we'll see. Leeds versus Villa. I think Villa will lose this one. Leeds, Leeds at Ellen Rudd. Yeah, I, I, I still stick to my PTS one. <laughs> one, one. All right, then the last one is on Monday. Leicester City is place is facing Nottingham Forest. Okay. Right, this is the bottom of the table clash. Yeah. And Foxes Leicester have lost their last six APL, APL matches, uh, and Forest have been losing, like their four last four APL matches they've lost. Leicester are winless and they have the worst defensive record in the league. In fact, it's worse than Bournemouth. I think so. <laughs> What's because your thought they, here? They considered six on the last game. It was six against Spurs. So they've considered 20 goals basically in yeah. eight, eight matches. I think it's wow, more. what's happening to Brendan Rogers? Uh, I think this is a, a, a chance for, for Rogers to redeem himself. You think so? Yeah, yeah, but I'm surprised he's still there. Six losses they, in eight games. They do have faith in him. Yeah, but he has done well. Maybe he has and, ended and, and some rumors were saying that they want to replace him with that point for coach. Oh, so, all right. So he's been given another chance to redeem himself. Uh, because Forrest is uh, Forrest got over 20 players, but they uh, can't really make it. A team. But if you buy 20 players, you can't make a team immediately. It's, it's impossible. Why would you buy 20 players? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Sometimes there's football directors. <laughs> anyway, so what do you think? What's the goal ratio like? Uh, I think Leicester is taking 2 1. 2 1? Yes. Okay, it will be, it will be a good relief for Brendan Rogers. Um, I hope so. I hope that one happens because I don't want to see that guy leaving the Premier League. I think he's a very good coach. Yeah. Anyway, um, I think we've come to the end of the predictions. Um, Let's see, how do you think we're fed so far? You think we uh, <laughs> are trying, we are trying. Because on our last episode, uh, the analyst was Gibson did. Yeah. Say any, and there were seven fixtures, I think. He got seven, correct? He got no. six and six. missed one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 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 um, it, it has been very, very good. It has been very good. Been very good. All right, viewers, it's been nice to have you. Yes. It's been nice to have the viewers. And please don't forget to subscribe on, on, on this channel. And also don't forget to subscribe on Facebook, Tales of the Beautiful Game. And also don't sub forget to follow us on Twitter. If you follow us, we promise we'll follow you back. We are good men and people. And, and um, until next time, hola, see ya. Bye.